Hey plant fam! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is obviously not my jungle, it's my car. But we are at the Lowe's in Manchester. And then we're 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 gonna look at plants, obviously. I'm really tired, obviously. <laughs> I feel like I say that in every video, but no, really, it's rainy and gross today and it's cold. But we're here. We're gonna meet up with a friend and do some plant shopping. So we're gonna go to a few different places and I figured that I would take you along. I hope that's okay with you. So let's go see what they have in Lowe's. I haven't been to this one in a while. So hopefully something good. Rainy, cold, and gross. But we're here. The copyright music isn't that loud. So I think that if I talk, over it we should be good we're gonna start over here there's a lot of stuff just saying so there's a lot to go over i saw some trending topicals over there so i'm excited to see what they have but cute little baby peace lilies um some begonias lots of ferns hartley philodendrons these are all 4.98 yeah, and these little containers. Some Fetonias. You guys know most of these, right? Purple Waffle, Dracaena, Syngonium. Here's the Maria. Oh, this one's cute. I mean, it's damaged, but I like this one. There's some little variegated ivy in here looking cute. It looks different than what I'm used to. Just some Pothos up here. $14.98 seems like a little expensive for this size in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Oh, that's sad. This was a black velvet alligator. Um, here's a Geo. That's not bad. Sad little ficus. This is a cute pot though. Urban jungle. Um, these are cute. $15.98. Oh, they have little ones. I love these pots. $15.98. That's cute. I don't need it, but I kind of want it now. So here's some Calatheas. $12.98. Uh, nothing super exciting. These pots are cute. I never remember the name of this philodendron. Hope. I don't know. I love these little pods. I don't need any of these plants though. Some spider plants up here for $16.98. These little ferns are cute, but I would just kill it. I really like these pods. really sad all these places start to look the same after a while I'm not gonna lie to you guys oh here's the new pots the one I saw pictures of these and everybody keeps saying it looks like a band-aid like a bandage a flesh colored bandage but you know these are the uh, the fancy new pots that they said they were coming out with so there you go but I do love this looking glass begonia because um, mine isn't looking good anymore. So, oh, apparently there's birds in here. 1998. Um, forget the name of this one. I don't know the name of this one either, but it's pretty. I want them all. Is this that darker one that I liked that I didn't get? I can't remember. Some peperomias, and then they have the Geogenanthus ciliatus. Is that the full name of it? I think that's the full name of it. Some peperomias down here, $8.98. Lots of ZZs. Here's a global green that we skipped over. 
but otherwise I don't see anything new and exciting just these very non exciting pots so that's cool everything's fine totally fine watermelon peps this Brazil is really pretty Trending tropicals already. Nothing exciting though. Except for this xanthosoma looking super sad. Oh, this is, I have this begonia. I didn't know it could get this big. It just says polka dot begonia maculata. I don't think that's necessarily accurate. But that's fine. Some Birkins, watermelon pep, and then this fern that I forget the name of. Probably doesn't say rare variety. I don't think that's rare, but that's. Let's not be negative today. It's easy. So that's it. Let's see what's back here. Oh, this is the one where they have the massive peace lilies. Last time David and I were here. There's some nice pothos over here for $14.98. Nice big leaves. Diefenbachia. This bird's nest fern, I think. What does that say? Yeah, bird's nest fern. Look at me go remembering stuff. Snake plant. Little baby peace lilies. Some little baby dracenas. Oh my god, those are so cute. And adorable. I'm a sucker for cute. I'm a sucker for cute. I would totally kill these. But the little cage is adorable. These make nice gifts for somebody if you want them to feel like they murder plants. <laughs> this is cute, it's in like a little bag. Oh, it is. It's That's a cute gift. How much is that one? Uh, it's a um, solid question. $9.98. No, I have this. Yeah, I have this same plastic globe, honestly. I could just make it. There's some rubber trees over here. $24.98. These really nice Diefenbachias. 
and these massive peace lilies, right? Remember these, you guys? How bad I wanted one. Is that variegation? It is. <gasps> About to text David and be like, how mad would you be if I brought this home? Look at it, it's so cute. It probably won't put out any more variegation, but <laughs> it's so pretty. Let's see if there's any more. There's tons of them. Tons and tons and tons. There's some bird of paradise back there I'm just super excited about this even though it's like the tiniest little speck and there isn't any more signs of variegation anywhere oh <laughs> it's so cute That's too bad. It's working on new leaves, but this is the most recent. It doesn't have any. Mm. You guys, I still want it. Is that bad? Just love these big leaves. They're so pretty. Okay. There's always copyright music in here. I just text David like, how mad would you be if I brought home a massive peace lily? Cause there's one over there that I want. He's like, you do you boo. I'm like, are you sure about that? Like, where are we gonna put it? Some xanthosomas. Those are really cute. What are they, like bonsai? What? I don't even know what it is. So it's a ficus, isn't it? I think this is a ficus. The leaves feel like a ficus that they grow into more of like a bonsai type of plant. Everything's all wet in here. The xanthosoma is huge. There's some Calathea macuyanas down here for $14.98. I guess elastica. More peace lilies. I just love those big leaves, honestly. Nothing super exciting over here. I don't see any more of that. What was it, like mint variegated ivy? I don't even like ivy and I thought it was cool. So that's saying something. Nothing super exciting down here either. Just these cute little begonias. Oh, I like this one. If these are the bigger ones. Or are these the smaller ones? Yeah, these are the bigger ones for $6.98. It's a really cute begonia, but you guys know I can't do Rex begonias right now. They're just too thirsty for me. This alocasia is cute over here. Oh, cute little pot heart on it I don't know how much that is I think it's urban jungle right. some little narrow form adansonii I never see the narrow form really just funny because you used to see more narrow form than wide form the wide form used to be harder to find 1698 Right? Don't you usually not see narrow form Adansonii in the store anymore? No. Is this an Obisa? Yes. Where did you find that? There's another one. Yeah, I'm gonna need one of those. I have a little baby one. I'm always looking for them in like Astrophytum that aren't like the usual ones. Well, this one's cute. This is the Calathea Zabrina, right? The fuzzy leaves that I want one day. I get like a really big one. Um, here's the Peperomia beetle. Ooh, I always get excited thinking this is the watermelon Dishidia. 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 I don't know. 
but it's not. But it's still pretty. Let's see. There's some Brazil. These were $19.98, by the way. My hands are all wet. Millwork, please call 301. Millwork, 301. 301. These Brazils are really cute. Some Tritoscansia. Um, this is the creeping fig, I think. A little variegation on it. Ferns. I'm trying to go over them all because sometimes you guys are like, you skip over the, some of the plants because I don't know what they are. <laughs> or I just, my brain skips over them because I see them all the time. So these begonias are cute. Some Syngonium holly. I think these are like 17-ish in that pot. I don't remember. There's some big euphorbias down here for $19.98. And then some bromeliads here. Lots of different varieties of this creepy ass plant if you're into it. Lots and lots of pothos. Or beetle. Lots and lots of ferns. Oh my god, this monstera leaf is huge. It's a nice one. There's some more peace lilies over here. I just kind of like got my heart set on that one inside. If he's gonna like be okay with that, we're, we might have to buy it. I don't know how I'm gonna get it in the car. It's cold out. This is the Aglionema Silver Bay for... <laughs> Uh, $24.98, and I hear Taylor Swift playing, which is like god awful for two reasons because copyright music and it's Taylor Swift, so Just some begonias. Okay fam, so that was the Home Depot, right? In Manchester, this is Liz. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> so she bought a bunch of plants. I bought one in Lowe's, a clearance plant, but we'll show you at the end of this video everything that we got. And now we're gonna head over to Walmart and see really quickly, cause I mm, love Walmart. Yeah. If they have any plants that don't have cold damage, because pretty much everybody I talk to is like, yeah, they have plants, but they're all cold damaged. <laughs> like sometimes they're discounted, but we shall see. Yep. So let's go to Walmart. Get Thanks away. for driving. No <laughs> Uh, grafted cacti and succulents. No trending tropicals at the Walmart in Manchester, just so you know. All right, so Walmart was a bust and now we're at Woodland Gardens. Uh, I haven't been here in a while, you guys. Last time we were here, it's been a while. We found like those crab planters here last time, David and I, so. They have good pots and sometimes you get lucky they have really good prices on like their little baby plants. So let's see what they have. Is it bad that I just want to pick up all the wood and sniff it? No. <laughs> I like the way wood smells too. It smells Every time so I drive good. by like a lumber yard. Yes. It smells 
Awesome. So good. This one, this is always my favorite sign. It says, welcome. The path to peace is right here for you when you want to get away. Enjoy the oasis. Okay. So if they do have Hoyas, they're usually where the succulents are. And I'm like a creature of habit. Oh, here's a massive one. Carry eye, but it's probably overpriced. $72.99. I was gonna say $80, I was close. Cause they had linears here for like 80 bucks. I can give you cuttings of mine. You should've told me. I'll bring them for you next time if you want. I can get them rooted for you. Oop, I see Hoyas. Yeah. Is this the... That's the, um... Shepherdy eye. I just murdered mine recently. Oh, hey, here's some baby. Baby rare ones. I think this is the one I found at Mascarillo's. It was you that told me to go check, right? Remember? Yeah, what is this? Here's um... Something. I think so. I might have to get another one to put with the other baby one that I have. Do you have the Memoria? M -m 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 Memoria. Yeah, this is here. Sunrise. Ooh, but my Sunrise, the leaves are a little like this. Yeah, they get Maybe bigger. Maybe a little bit bigger. Um, or it could be Obscura, but I've noticed that the Obscura leaves, mine are wider. This is cute. We got the variegated Wayeti eye right here. These are all $11.99. I can't get my variegated to do anything. Mine doesn't either. It just mine loses leaves. Another. It doesn't grow new ones. Mine I bought like so four and potted them up together. together. Yeah, I already have them, but maybe I'm going to add to it. Little baby Cartesii, little I baby Linearis. Them. I know, I feel like I need another one of these too. Oh, don't buy it. I have, you have a, tons. a six inch pot. Okay. I'll bring you Obovada. We can trade. Because I have a huge 8 inch basket of Obovada that I got in it. Uh, I got a gift card in a giveaway and I bought it with that. So technically it, it was free. Little baby Chelsea's for $16.99. These people always think are variegated Chelsea's, but they're um, just the wide form of the uh crimson queen yeah and then the shepherdii australis hindu rope are these 16.99 that's a good price though 16.99 for an eight inch basket from those that was nice. the first toy i ever bought and i didn't even remember what's a toy <laughs> nice yeah i got one at home depot a while back but then I found a better one, so I traded it in. I gave the old one away and got a new one. This is the one that David is like kind of killing right now, the Medusa cactus. At least we know we can get another one. I have nowhere to put this right now. Can we see the splash now? Yeah, there you go. A little splashy leaf. It's cute. I have a little baby two leafer of this one, but I won't mind adding some more. Some Stromanthi, some Dithambachias, some Adansonii's for $19.99 in these little baskets, $39.99 in these big ones, some Ficus, little baby Monsteras over here. Even though it's labeled as a philodendron for $18.99. I'm still just kind of obsessed with these little babies. I think I like that one. Oh, this one's cute too. Lots of succulents over here. I've only got one hand now because I'm holding my little baby, but I'll try and pick up plants for prices. Here are the um, Cryptanthus bromeliads. So these are different than the flowering ones that you usually see and different, like they're different from this one. It's a different um, genus, but I just don't, I don't know what this genus actually is. But these are Cryptanthus, in case anybody was wondering. These ones I think are cool. 
these don't creep me out. I used to have one of these pink ones. These creep me out. <laughs> don't ask me why, they just do. They just do. Got a bunch of calatheas over here. Pinstripe, There's some aglionemas, looking cute. This is the fuzzy one. See some alocasias over there, getting ahead of myself. Some Birkins hanging out over here for $28.99. I don't think anybody would pay that much for a Birkin. Hopefully not anymore. This is a really cute Aglionema that I forget the name of. Wishes or something like that maybe. $28.99. Uh, Reds. Reds and pin, pin, pin what the, I don't think that's, I don't even know what that means. It's fine. Okay, come on, let's go little baby. Some anthuriums over here. This is the super bum, super bum, super bum, $18.99. Very cute. Peace lilies. Definitely. Oh, I have sable blue over here. Didn't I tell you guys that we're gonna have these everywhere now? I got cut off. $22.99 for these little ones is kind of a lot for this tiny basket. I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably wouldn't pay that much for it. Philodendron brandy for 40 bucks. Definitely a little on the higher end for that one. $40 for this Mikan's is a reasonable price. If it was a little happier, maybe. They're looking a little damaged, maybe. From the cold, they feel cold. Some Sissus Discolor. Um, for $24.99. This one is up on a pole for a hundred and eighty two dollars you guys you can just buy a few for like 20 bucks and just put them on a pole yourself for way less than that just saying uh lots of little things that i don't know the name of i'm pretty sure we've all agreed not to call it that anymore but that's fine you do you boo don't know what any of these are. I'll show you the signs. Streptocarpella. Okay. Okay. Cute little flowers. Plectranthus. Okay. Well, these feel hearty. Angel vine. Tahitian bridal vine. Heb, heb, hebby. I don't know, but they're cute. These are cute. Kind of looks like a peperomia, maybe. Um, I usually have little terrarium plants over here. Nothing exciting today. Mock bulrush. Okay, fiber optic plant. Sure. Kind of cool. Hawaiian impatience. Okay. I think these are mostly like outside stuff, so I don't know what they are. Blooms are weird. Shrimp plant. Oh my god, they call it a shrimp plant. <laughs> That's fantastic. Strawberry begonias over there. I don't know what that is. There's some Nanook over here. More Tradescantia. Some Oxalis over here. Very thirsty, so I have a hard time with it, of course, because <laughs> it's thirsty. But I love the purple ones. $6.99 for that. Some goldfish plants over here. For $3.99. I had one um, and I killed it. I had this one. This is a goldfish plant too and I thought it was pretty because the backs of the leaves 
I like burgundy, but I killed that one as well. So we just don't do goldfish plants anymore because I tried to keep it alive, but it, it didn't want to stay alive. Ursula, hi Ursula. <laughs> I know David and I wanna get one of these just purely because of Ursula, except for we'd probably call her Medusa. Yeah, I'm supposed to turn into No, that's a different one. Yeah, that's so cute. I always come visit Ursula. There's, oh, their huge monster, Adansonii, isn't looking good. They used to have it up here. Oh wow, look at these Tanekis. Oh, they're so creamy. I love this plant. I would need to get them variegated. One on my wish list. Look at how sad. Oh my God, look at the inflorescence on these. I don't know. They used to have it like up on a table over here and it was huge. I have a video. I mean, look at this. It's got like fennies on fennies. Maybe it got infested with something. I don't see any damage from like bugs though. Maybe they just didn't care for it properly. It's got so many blooms. All aeroids look like that. They're so weird. That's why they're toxic, aren't they? It's mostly like their blooms and these things. These are super toxic. Croton. Yeah. Who Ivy? Duckfoot Ivy. Duckfoot? I don't even know how to say that. Springary? Springary? We're gonna call it Jerry. What's up, Jerry? Some Syngoniums here. Hopefully this isn't copyright music. I don't even know what this is. Uh, blue star fern for $14.99. More ferns, more for ferns, 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 ferns. Staghorn fern for 50 bucks. Oh my god, that is really cute. It's adorable. <laughs> Super cute. Got some Imperial Reds here for $12.99. That, that's called I Will Kill You So Fast, <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> These ones don't look like Imperial Red. They look like Macaulay's Finale. They're a little bit lighter than these ones. I love their leaves when they get big. I just hate the way they grow. They spread out. Yeah. Some really sad alocasia polys for $28.99. Some little baby micans. Also kind of sad for $24.99. Please don't pay that much for this sad little plant. Lots of pothos. Like this one's looking sad too. Maybe they had like a a bug problem. It's really sad to see that happen. This was one of those like chunky philodendrons. Some Brazils for $5.49. So tell me why this is $5 and the Mikans isn't. That makes no sense to me. They grow at the same Right, they're both philodendrons. So I feel like they should be the same price and hopefully one day they will be. People are just still getting away with overcharging, I think. Oh my God, look at the little baby rubies. Stop it. I've been wanting a new one of these, but I'm waiting for just the right one. They're so cute. Or are they little baby Tanekis and they just look like rubies because they're New leaves are pink. They're so cute, I can't stand it. I wanna get a nice big one though, like one that's already really nice and mature. Cause I love ficus. We've got some prayer plants over here. Not looking their best, but it's okay. 
some alocasias back here. Alocasia pu pu puber? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Green goddess. I don't know what that means. But there's some black velvets over here for 20 bucks, which is a good price, but they're not looking super happy. If I'm being honest with you. And then we skipped over all the pepperonias over here. So let's take a look at those. And then there's some like aluminum plants and different hyleas over here. Uh, lots of different ivy that she was showing us. This is Pel Polonia. I have a little cutting of this that's doing well in water. I don't know how well it will do when I take it out of water, but I think it's cute. I like the, the variegation on these ones. Just the upright or parallel Peperomia, Peperomia pudiolata. Very, very sturdy. Like, can't even bend these leaves. This was one of my first house plants and I kept it alive for a really long time before it died. So if you're looking for an easygoing, cool looking peperomia, this one's definitely a lot hardier. This one's not bad either, the peperomia hope. It starts to get a little straggly if you don't give it tons of light, but otherwise it's cute. It's not a pain in the butt like the caparatas are. So there's some frost and some other stuff looking really sad over here We've got the little pixies the scandins I think variegated I don't know what this one is called green peperomia <laughs> okay this is the marble obtusifolia I like this plant I just have I've killed so many obtusifolias that I can't do it but I like how it looks camouflage this was one of my first house plants as well and I was very upset when it died so more pilea pilea peperomioides there's an aglaonema cutlass hanging out over here for I don't know how much but it's really pretty I'd like to get one of these one day when I have the space as well sad little orbifolias and I think that's kind of it. We have some chlorophytum over here, some green ones, some variegated ones, some little baby bonnies. I wouldn't mind one of these one day. Um, and that's really it. I mean, Ursula's over here. We got a Chinese fan palm, beautiful Tanekis. Some Dracaena, some fiddly figs back there, some hanging plants. Check out the hanging stuff. It's a big ass syngonium. See, so, like, this is pretty. I just can't. This is the blooms. This is how you know it's a goldfish plant. You can tell by the blooms. Oh, fell off. So, there's that. See, these just look look like they have bugs in them. So I think I'll keep mine in water, like forever, forever, ever. I've never even seen a Nanook get this big. I love these. <laughs> so cute. I think I covered everything, except for the succulents over here. Orchids, some jade, variegated jade. Don't know what a lot of these are. Pregnant onion. <laughs> Girl, you big. So, yeah, there's that. There's some interesting star aloes over here. 
Definitely not aloe vera, but that's fine. Unless it's just like dead, rotted aloe vera. That's also fine. This is the blizzard. More aloes down there. And then there's a bunch of cacti over here. Fishbone cactus. Rat tail cactus. David doesn't like these, but I do. <laughs> I think they're cute. Um, and this one too. I have one of these. These are so weird. I love it. I think it's a euphorbia though, not a cactus. So there's that. Here's an old man cactus. <laughs> little baby ones for $6.99 and that's it there's another carry eye oh they still have this linearis $58.99 that's crazy oh here's a variegated agave oops I'm trying to get the water out and I got rocks out instead $26.99 I thought David would like one of these but I don't love the way this one looks but I will probably get one one day because it's cute and he likes agave so I think that's it I mean I'm gonna look at the Hoyas again for like 30 minutes but other than that it's exciting that they even have these to be honest with you these little baby wide leaf uh Crimson Princess. Yeah. Super cute. Oh, here's Bertusa. Not my favorite. I just had to show you this leaf really quick. Unfurling. On this philodendron. I don't know what kind of philodendron it is, but it's massive. I had to share it before we go. I'm always looking for little ones. I thought these were cool too got like shells are supposed to look like shells anyway these are cute I like these those are nice I always like those too but they're usually very expensive so oh these are so cute it does not look adorable that's gonna look super cute on my Hoya shelf for sure. Oh, I like this one. I have a small version of this. That's nice. I have found though from fertilizing and from having stuff in there, the white of this has started to turn a different color. I don't, I'm, I don't know why. I'm assuming it's from like the fertilizer and stuff, but I don't know if you know why. Feel free to, to tell me cute. I don't know what this would be for, but it's really cute. Alright, lots more pots to look at. Just gonna give you a quick overview. We're not gonna go into depth here. There's some cute ones over here. Um, David and I get a lot of his pots here. I know you guys like his, like this one he has. You guys really loved this one when he did his tour. I like this one too. I think this is cute. I think he would like this one for our collection, but he's gonna be like, you don't need any more pots. These are super cute. I have the regular version of this. I like the coloring on here. Some terracottas. These are super cute. Look how little. <laughs> They're so cute. I'm a sucker for little pots. Some fish, if that's what you're into. I think this one's really cute. This one's kind of cool too, it's different. Oh, it's shaking. Don't wanna knock anything over. They do also always have like the little baby ones, terracottas, which can be hard to find, and the glazed saucers. I don't like when they're too colorful. 
This is like too speckled for me. If it was a little less speckled and a little less glazed looking. Cute. These are weird as hell. Kinda like it. These are cute. Two. I like that. I don't have enough money for this one right now, but this is really cute. It's definitely my vibe. Oh, these are so cute. <laughs> okay, bam. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so that was wood woodland. I always want to say woodlawn, no, but it's not. Woodland. It's woodland. So that was our last stop of the day, and I picked up this cute, I already showed you like seven times, little <laughs> Hoya in this cute little pot, but I had to show you again and put it down so I don't break another leaf. And then I picked this up on clearance because I like this pot, and I forget what this is called. Do you know what this plant is called? Assorted foliage. Isn't it the desert rose? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There, that's the, yeah. there you go. That's Those what it is. <laughs> so that's all I got today. I was trying to be good, but she got a lot of cool stuff, including this o Obisa, Obessa. I never know how you're supposed to say it. I think it's but don't they call Obisa. it like a baseball cactus too? Something like that, yeah. I don't think it's a cactus though. Isn't it a euphorbia? On here it's a cactus. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, it's Home Depot. Something cactus with deco flower that I ripped off. Yeah, no, because it's super ugly. cute. The other one was like kind of gross looking, so I was like, hopefully they're popping up though, because I've had that one on my wish list for like two years now, ever since actually Nicole at My Clean Leaves showed one on her channel a while back, and I was like, oh, I so need it. Babies. Yeah, maybe one will fall off and then we can steal it from you. <laughs> oh my god, look. It fell off. <laughs> oh my god. It has like a root. What is that? That's weird. That's so weird. It it's like it bleed that's gotta be a euphorbia. It has to. It's got the it's milk got in yellow. it. Yeah. It's I'm like a white, Hoya. Like Hoya white juice. sappy nasty stuff. I'm gonna stick you right in here. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Look at how cute it is. <laughs> it is cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So she got a bunch of other like succulents, yep. what a variegated jade. Yep. She got a couple of the Hoyas as well, the Parasitica. I'm pretty sure that's a Parasitica. I looked up last time, I found one in Moscarillos because you told me mm -hmm. to go. You were like, Hoyas and Moscarillos. <laughs> I love it when you guys do that. I'm like, thank you. I'm going right now. Moscarillos is literally like five minutes down oh, the road really? from where we are too. Yeah. So that's we don't go that much because they're super overpriced, but we go just yeah. because they're close. And it's somewhere to just like, I like wander around the do. greenhouse yeah. for like 20 minutes just because it gives me like dopamine. It makes me feel good. <laughs> yeah. Like it just, when I'm having a bad it's day, I literally just go to the closest nursery. So yeah, that's it, right? You got a couple of cool, cool plants today though. Yeah. And that weird euphorbia, David has one. It looks like there's like worms coming out of it almost. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I don't know either. Were they babies or were they flowers? Or? I have no idea. But I'm gonna cut them off. Now. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today. Thanks for hanging out with me yes, today. If you enjoyed me. this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. So you don't miss anything. You know the spiel. I'll keep it short and simple for her sake today. <laughs> <laughs> There's a join button down there if you guys want to support my channel. David and I started another one. There's going to be content soon, I swear. We're waiting for him to stop being an old man and have a hurt back because I don't want to force <laughs> him to film when he's not in like feeling great. So content coming soon, but you can go subscribe. It'll be over, over here. So click on that and uh, go check it out. Okay, I'm going to go. I appreciate Bye. you, fam, and I will see you in the next one.